Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today here we are once again with the Mac Mini for a very quick guide on how to upgrade the storage that we get from these machines which I love them iMacs and Mac Minis, MacBook Bros and so on and so forth especially the Mac Mini but there is one uh, point that is critical storage it's really expensive to get it out of Apple when we are configuring and besides that once we sell it out we will lose a lot so one of the best options that I found over the years is to use external storage as a boot solution nonetheless I don't want slower uh, storage solution I want the same speed that we have or if possible even faster which is what we are going to do today now here in Portugal when I got a Mac mini if I want to upgrade storage just to have an idea I will pay an extra 250 euros for 512 extra 500 euros if I want to go to one terabyte or 1000 euros for two terabytes which is a lot getting one of these machines that we can get roughly for 1000 euros with the extra storage 2000 euros so the best solution that i found so far is the sabrent extreme q which we have checked here on the channel i'll leave a link right over here actually a few links right over here so that you guys can check it out and in terms of pricing it's very attractive because i can get 512 for roughly 170 us dollars one terabyte for 220 dollars and if i want to go a little bit crazier two terabytes for 307 us dollars which i do believe that it's the sweet spot in terms of pricing and in terms of the storage capacity i was talking about crazy but now if i want to go really really crazy eight terabytes then i will have it for 1500 euros but we are talking about eight terabytes not one terabyte now in terms of speeds as i said i don't want to go slower so sabrent will deliver roughly 2000 uh, megabytes per second on writes and 2500 megabytes per second on reads on the two terabyte version right over here if i compare that to the internal storage of my mac mini what i get is in terms of writes 1000 to 1300 megabytes per second and on reads 2600 to 2700 megabytes per second on read so we are actually going faster and not slower at a cheaper price point now i would never suggest this as a boot drive for a laptop such as the macbook pro or macbook air or something like that because it's a portable machine but for a mac mini or an imac it's one of the best solutions that i've seen on the market today and i've done a guide a few years ago with thunderbolt 2 but today we are going to work with thunderbolt Three. Now taking that out of the way, prices and speeds, it will be your decision to get one of these or any other brand. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. But right now, let's see how easy it is to turn one of these bad boys as our boot drive. And it's really, really easy. In the past, we have used a software which is CC Cloner, Carbon Copy Cloner, which is very easy to use and it's great. But you guys know me, I like to try different things. And this time I was playing around with Super Duper, which is also really nice. So we just need to download Super duper that is a free uh, version that we can use and as i'm not doing clones as a living i don't need the paid version just the free version will be more than fine for me so after we download just execute the software and it's very simple i just need to select the source which is my boot drive and then i need to select my destination which in my particular case it's the sabrent extreme q and then press the button called backup and that is it it will take uh, a few minutes i'm not sure how many but i went to lunch while it did so really easy once we finish uh, we just need to go to system preferences and then where it says disk startup change we can change but if you're doing this for the first time then it will give us a warning which is the security settings do not allow this mac to boot from external drive so what we will need to do is to reboot our mac or imac and then pressing command r to go to our mac os recovery after we are on that screen we just need to select the utilities and then the uh, startup security utility and right there on that menu we will press the allow boot from an external hard drive and once we do that we can quit and restart and it will actually ask us if we want to change the boot drive or not so we will be able to at this moment select the sabrent that we already have 
our boot drive system, everything that we just cloned and reboot the system. Once we reboot the system and we go to about this Mac, we will see the information stating that our startup disk is indeed this one right over here, which is just awesome. By some reason, if you don't uh, select your target disk on the previous step, you can just go to system preferences and where it says startup disk, you can change to whatever disk you want the internal or this one right over here. So this is a great option to expand, but it's also a great option to have a full clone backup of your system besides time machine and so on and so forth. So just have this in mind. And guys, basically this is it. Besides the two terabytes that we will get for our system so that we can use for everything, video editing and so on and so forth, we still have those 256 gigs of internal storage that we can wipe up and use as a time machine backup, for example, or anything else that we want to place, photos, documents and whatnot, because we are not exchanging, we are adding storage. And one great value that I do believe that is true, at least right over here, is that in two years or three years when I sell my Mac Mini to get a newer one, the storage that I did invest will not go with the computer. I will not lose as much. And when I get the new machine, I will have this storage to put it back in. Regardless if it is to upgrade your Mac Mini iMac storage to a bigger capacity and faster storage in this particular case, while saving a lot of money, or just to make a backup or clone to an existing SSD that you already have using SuperDuper or even CC Cloner, which are two great pieces of software. That being said, if the video was useful, don't forget to leave that really appreciate thumbs up right over there on the video. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.